The equipment needed for polypectomy is simple. Modern electrosurgical units are inherently very safe, with warning circuitry built in. Olympus scopes and electrosurgical units also have an S-cord system to capture any leak currents, which might theoretically expose the endoscopist or patient to local burns. However, at the low power settings used for colonoscopic polypectomy, using modern video endoscopes with no exposed metal parts, and with all staff also wearing rubber gloves, this is essentially irrelevant. Electric shock can never occur. Although most units have a choice of cut, coagulation and blend current outputs, most experts use a low setting of coag current to give the slow cook effect which is best for safe colonoscopic polypectomy without bleeding. An electric current flowing through a resistance such as the tissue of a polyp stalk generates heat. The amount of heat generated depends on three factors. First, the power, often measured in watts. At lower power setting, the heat generated is small, but as the power is turned up, progressively more heat is generated. Next, time. The longer the current is applied, the more heat in the stalk. So that's two of the three factors, more power, more heat, more time, more heat. The third factor is the area of tissue involved. Considering a stalk of this size, if the diameter was increased 10 times, the area would increase 100 times. So, conversely, comparing the two stalks, a diameter reduced to one-tenth reduces the area to one-hundredth. So, with the same current flowing through both stalks, the current density in the smaller one will be 100 times greater than the bigger one, pi r squared. Since the heat generated also increases as the square of current density, in this case with the same current and a diameter of one-tenth, the heat generated in the small one is increased enormously. In practice, this means that if the snare loop round a stalk constricts it to a tenth of its normal diameter, there will be high current density and intense local heating at the constriction. So, with snare closure at low power and in a short time, there's local heating and electrocoagulation of stalk vessels before the polyp head separates. However, there'll be little or no heating lower down the stalk, so little or no danger of perforation. On the other hand, if the snare isn't tightly closed, there's less current density, so either the same power must be applied for too long a time, which risks heat conducting down the stalk to the bowel wall, or a much higher power will be necessary to produce the same local heat, which risks electrocutting without enough coagulation of the stalk vessels. In summary, the three important factors in electrosurgical polypectomy are the size of the tightened snare loop, squeeze it tight, the correct power setting, usually between 15 and 25 watts, and the time of current application, not too quick, but not too slow. There are two other lesser variables which may affect snare electrosurgery. Snare wire thickness and contact pressure locally. At the point of snare wire contact, there is current density, so local heating. A wire of half the diameter will cause four times the current density and theoretically 16 times the heat, so a tendency to cut through too fast before adequate coagulation. Greater pressure of the wire at the tissue surface also increases electrical conductivity, as well as tending to cheese wire through mechanically. So care is needed when closing a snare, especially a new thinner one. Squeeze sufficiently but gently until there's enough visible coagulation, then gradually squeeze harder to cut through. If, during snaring, too much power is needed without visible heating, or if it's taking too long, over 10 seconds or so, there's something wrong. Stop, look and check. Don't just increase the power. Perhaps the snare isn't properly tightened round the stalk, or the polyp stalk is larger than realised, or its head may be wrongly snared, or the electrosurgical circuit may be at fault. 
to make the circuit, there has to be a path back to the electrosurgical unit provided by the patient or return plate. When the current is flowing, because the patient plate has a large surface area, the current density at the patient's leg will be very low, so no noticeable heat will be felt there. For safety's sake, the current used for electrosurgery is of very high or radio frequency. It alternates about half a million times a second, 500 kilohertz, whereas household electricity alternates only 50 to 60 times a second. High frequency current does behave like household current in many respects. For instance, it will light a 15 watt bulb when the power setting on the unit corresponds to 25 watts. But the reason for using high frequency is easy to see. Here, the current is safely conducting through arms, heart and body to light up the bulb. There's no shock or muscle spasm because the current alternates too fast for nerve depolarization to happen. Although there would be a burn if the area of skin contact was smaller. There's a choice of currents. Coag, cut or a blend of the two. For polypectomy, coag current is best. The high voltage lets electrical conduction and the heating effect spread widely, so coagulating feeding blood vessels at a distance without desiccating tissue locally. Cutting current gives continuous high power, explosively vaporizing the cells locally and cutting through and desiccating with less depth of heating and more chance of bleeding. Some endoscopists use blended current, but if so, the blend should be mainly coagulation.